Um, hi guys, I'm Miss Birdsell. I teach intro to drawing and painting. This is my first year out at the high school. Uh, this is an intro class, so you don't need any pre prerequisite, but it's for anybody who wants to uh, make things with their hands, who likes to think new, have new ideas, creative thoughts. Um, the first semester is all black and white. We just uh, work on drawing skills, real basic. Um, the second semester all, is all about color, and we mash up our drawing skills with different color projects. I recommend this class to anybody who likes to make things, um, who loves to draw, or just wants to be a better drawer for school projects. Um, anybody who likes to look at color or think of color in different ways and we're going to mash up those drawing skills with uh, a little bit of color theory. We always start the day by looking at art and talking about what we're looking at, um, talking about the skills. I give a lot of demonstrations, um, looking at other kids work, looking at advanced drawing and painting students work and then it's work time. I generally give an hour to uh, work on the assignment and listen to music while you're working. Hi, I'm Miss Iverson and I teach Introduction to Ceramics. So Introduction to Ceramics is a course um, for freshmen through seniors, so it's all different ages can take this class. Um, it's for people who have either, who have never taken a ceramics class at the high school. So throughout the year in Introduction to Ceramics we start with the basics and we work through a lot of different ceramic techniques. So we start with pinching and then coiling, which you may have done before if you've taken a beginning ceramics class. We do slab work and um, solid sculpting. So you'll get to make some stuff that's just kind of fun sculpture and some things that are more functional, you know, bowls and things that you can eat out of. So this class is for people who love working with clay or who are curious about working with clay or who enjoy art um, or people who need an art credit, which is most people. I'm Matthew Gerlich. I teach a craft lab here at the high school. Um, it's a class where it's like a maker's class, so a lot of hands-on things, so everything you make with your hands, it's like an entrepreneurial class. So we do sewing projects. Uh, you guys learn how to make uh, all sorts of things like clothing and hats and bags with the sewing machines. Um, and you can, then you can make whatever you want in the future. Uh, we do a screen printing project. So you guys learn how to make uh, screen prints. And you do all the, the designs to do that. So you burn the screens and you make the artwork for it. And then you get the squeegees out and you can make t-shirts or you know, skateboards or whatever you might want to make. The idea is to you know, sell your own stuff. You look at the world, you know, use the internet, uh, go on Etsy, you know, find the you know, artist shops that you like and learn from them and then make things. And uh, that's kind of the idea of the class. Uh, I'd recommend this class to anybody who likes to work with their hands, uh, isn't afraid to get dirty, uh, likes to learn uh, life skills, things that they could learn and uh, do forever, you know, if you want to start your own company or you just want to learn how to fix your own clothes or make your own books or just want to be an artist in general, I think it's a good class for you. All right, hello, my name is Mr. Keneally. I am the music teacher at Hood River Valley High School. And I teach four uh, classes for freshmen. First, we offer Spectrum, which is like a vocal pop and jazz ensemble. We also offer jazz band, if you play an instrument, uh, it's jazz and rock. We also offer concert choir, which is open to anyone. If you'd like to come sing, you can. And concert band is open to anyone who plays a band instrument that would like to play at the high school. For concert band, we do pet band in the fall, so that's one thing that makes that class pretty fun. Concert choir, you learn the fundamentals of singing, and we do a little bit of everything. Uh, jazz band, you work a lot of with jazz and improv, and Spectrum is focused on working with a small group and creating your own arrangements of music. Um, if you're interested in music classes, I really encourage you to come talk to me. Um, if you're interested in doing jazz band or spectrum, it is by audition only, so I will be coming down to the middle schools and talking with your music teachers and giving you some more information about how you can do that if you're interested in that for next year. Hi, I'm Rachel Harry and I am the theater teacher here at HRV. The theater program we have here is a four-year program with many offerings and as a freshman you would have two choices. You can take Theater One, which starts you on the road to performing on stage with us, 
and there's a lot of fun things that we do. It's all up movement oriented type uh, activities in that first year of theater. You do stage combat, mime, dance, you name it. The other class that I offer for freshmen is called Intro to Tech, and you would learn everything you need to know to run a, sta a performance backstage. There's the sound, lighting, building sets, creating the costumes, uh, and you would be working a lot in another class where you're up and you're moving around a lot. My name is Mrs. Wiesman, and I teach both personal fitness and advanced PE, so they're PE classes. Advanced PE, we, we have a fitness portion of the class period and then we usually have game units and so those games range from being outside playing ultimate frisbee, soccer, flag football, to inside sports like badminton or basketball, dodgeball, stuff like that. Personal fitness is a class where students are working on their personal fitness. It is not a games class even though we do play games on Fridays, but we do different fitness units. So we do anything from yoga to CrossFit. Uh, we do some circuits. We have, I bring in a Zumba instructor and we, we do some Zumba. So it's a lot different than a games class. It's more, if you want to just focus on fitness, then that's a good class for you. Okay, hi, my name is Nicole Good and I teach French at HRVHS and I think every student should come and take my French class. Um, it's really fun. Uh, we get up and we move around a lot. Uh, we learn French through creating stories together and reading our stories together. We watch a lot of short video clips and short movies. Uh, we move around the classroom. We're always doing gestures. We're playing games such as Mafia. And we just have a really good uh, fun time while we're learning a language. Um, I also think that uh, learning a language is great for college applications. Uh, it's a very creative outlet. Um, those of you who already speak Spanish, it's a great time to start learning a third language. And you might find that it's quite easy to pick up French uh, if you already know Spanish. So if you're interested in taking a foreign language, I invite you all to take French. I'm Senor Kroll, and I teach Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 here at Hood River Valley High School. And we want you to be a part of our Spanish program here at the high school. We want you to think that when you graduate from high school, you're worth two people because you speak two languages and you can read and write and you're literate in both those languages. <laughs> in Spanish, we have lots of fun. Uh, well, first, you can start with Spanish 1. And in Spanish 1, you would continue on to Spanish 2, Spanish 3, Spanish 4, your, your senior year. If you start in Spanish 2, you got a little bit of background. You maybe don't need to be taught the, the family vocabulary or the alphabet. But you start in Spanish 2, and then you could end in Spanish 5, which is AP Spanish your senior year. In our classes, we have uh, games, songs. We do lots of activities, some skits. We do some reading and, and acting out of our Spanish, and we just have a lot of fun and get you ready and prepared for high proficiency. And uh, if you want to go into college and major in Spanish and be able to put that on your resume, that you have high proficiency in Spanish, we'll get you ready for that. But sign up for Spanish 1 or Spanish 2, and it's an awesome, awesome experiencia. So, uh, my name is uh, Senor Trujillo. I am uh, the Native Spanish 1 and Native Spanish 2 teacher here at the Hood River Valley High School. Uh, this is a course for students who uh, have a Spanish background. They speak Spanish at home or they have somebody at home that speaks Spanish with them and they uh, respond in Spanish or sometimes in English. I have a lot of students who take this course that still respond in English, um, which is fine uh, for the first year. Um, but uh, the regular Spanish classes would probably be something that would be a little bit easy for them. So we try to challenge them a little bit more in the native Spanish classes. Um, throughout the year in the class we will learn and unlearn a lot of the Spanish that they've, that they've done before. Um, a lot of the, the grammar that they have, a lot of the language that they have, the vocabulary, are things that we uh, have to add to. Um, because a lot of the, the words that they use, a lot of the um, way of speaking is, is something that they've learned for a particular area 
uh, of Spanish, and I try to get them to expand a little bit more their uh, their their background and and uh, you know teach them that there are other countries that speak Spanish, not just not just the ones that are really close to us. Ni hao, my name is Mr. Shen. My students always call me Michael. That's my English name. I teach Mandarin one. Uh, what we do in this class is uh, the Chinese language and uh, Chinese cultural stuff, such as Chinese calligraphy, paintings, and we also we watch some Chinese movies, videos, and also we sometimes we make the Chinese food and uh, sing the Chinese song. And this class is seems like it's new and uh, it's different, and uh, sometimes my students will say that. Uh, it's, it's hard uh, because it's Chinese is the only uh, language that uses the Chinese characters. So that one is, will be a challenge for all the students. I recommend this class to those students who are interested in China and those who are not coming to the class just for fun and those who are wanting to take some challenges in the world language. All right, that's it. My name is Don Schmidt, and I teach Principles of Agriculture at Hood River Valley High School to freshmen and sophomores. Principles of Agriculture is a, it's kind of a general agriculture class. It's our beginning class. We learn about um, the National FFA organization in the beginning. We learn about Oregon agriculture. So throughout the year, it depends a lot on the weather. We average one day a week outside over the course of the year, obviously. In the winter, we're not outside as much. We're learning about uh, animals, animal systems, plant systems, um, and some leadership activities. And then when we can go outside, we work, uh, do hands-on activities on our school farm. Um, we also uh, have a tractor driving unit in the spring where everyone learns how to operate a tractor safely. I would recommend this class to just about any freshman that's interested in a hands-on kind of learning class. Um, the range of, of students that we get in this class is wide, wide ranging. Um, just about every kind of group of freshmen, I guess, has come through and taken this class. Hi, I'm Miss Bozarth, and I teach plant science, floriculture, and wood shop. In plant science, we do a lot of work out in the greenhouse, and we learn a lot about plant science, and it gives you a science credit in that class. In floriculture, it's an elective class, and we start out the year making corsage and boutonnieres. We work with fresh cut flowers, and then we move on to make flower arrangements and designs. Uh, we make Christmas wreaths during the holidays and at the end of the year we come out and help plant science in the greenhouse. In woodshop we have three required projects. Uh, you make a, a rabbit box and then we move on to make a lamp table and at the end of the year if you finish all your required projects uh, you get to make your own projects. A cool thing about the high school woodshop is you get to use every machine by yourself if you feel comfortable. I'm Mr. Bozarth. I teach Ag Mechanics and Construction and Agriculture Metals Technology. Throughout the year in Ag Mechanics, you, we will do um, construction when it's nice outside. So we'll pour concrete, possibly build a shed, some kind of regular construction. Um, learn how to use the tools, power tools and safety tests. In ag metals, um, we do arc welding, gas welding, also forging and sheet metal. And we work in later on in the year some um, lathe work. I recommend this class to incoming freshmen. They're gonna get an overview of all kinds of basic metal work and construction. <clears throat> also, um, you know, later on in, in your schooling, when you're a senior, you could actually take this class to be a more well-rounded human being. Uh, my name is Sean Miley and I teach a class called Multimedia Design. I also teach video production and advanced multimedia design. In Multimedia Design, which is for first-year students, we cover 
uh, vector graphics using Adobe Illustrator, and then we work with rasterized graphics using Adobe Photoshop. We then cover some basic graphic design. We then go over some basic HTML and some basic web design using Adobe Dreamweaver. We also cover 2D animation using Adobe Flash, and we also cover video production using Adobe Premiere. And that's pretty much it for the first year. So in second year, we cover video production, and it's pretty much a whole year of basically like going to video school. And then third year is advanced multimedia, and a lot of that, uh, the students get to pick their own projects in multimedia to work on. Uh, my name is Jeff Blackman. I teach uh, career technical education, um, teach robotics as one class, and Fab Lab is another class. The robotics, we uh, build robots to compete in the first tech challenge, um, that's FTC for short, and uh, we compete in the state and then compete on the world if we, um, if we advance to worlds. So I recommend the robotics class for anybody that likes to build um, build things. If you uh, grew up with Legos, uh, robotics might be your, your class. It does require some after school time to be successful in the competition, um, so keep that in mind. But um, mainly those students that like to do hands-on and also would like to be introduced to computer programming. The students that would like to take Fab Lab are more um, into the design process and um, want to use computers to help them design products and then use machines such as the laser cutter and the 3D printer to take those designs and make um, real tangible items out of hit their designs. Um, we do really nice lamps and jewelry boxes. Um, the sky's the limit. It's your creativity that um, is going to see how successful you are in that class. If you're, uh, if you're a freshman and you're looking at getting into either one of these programs, um, don't be afraid. Uh, robotics One is all freshmen. And um, if you've never done robotics before, don't worry about it. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to start from ground zero. As far as Fab Lab, it is open for freshmen. Um, and uh, welcome. <laughs>